uh, their, their spent fuel rods. Uh, it is in England and France, cell fuel in England, where they've been pumping out radioactive waste into the North, North Irish Sea, which is the most irradiated body of water in the entire world. And also in Le Havre in France, which has been, which emits every year uh, in the neighborhood of 500 atmospheric uh, nuclear weapons tests. So to say that this is safe for the workers who are cutting into uh, spent fuel rods and releasing high concentrations of radiation, that it's safe for the workers, safe for the immediate area, and, and it's safe for the people is, is, is nonsense. And the one reprocess, commercial reprocessing plant this country has ever operated uh, still does not have a price tag on how much it's going to cost to clean up. The estimates are between $10 billion and $27 billion of, yet again, taxpayer dollars. I'm not sure I know what to say to those type of claims. You think about it, folks, that could those countries discharge huge amounts of radioactive material uh, on a daily basis? It's just not credible. Uh, let's do talk a bit about efficiency, though, of recycling. You know, a fuel assembly in the Callaway plant is in that reactor for about four and a half years. And when it comes out, we've used about 5% of the energy in there. 95% is still available. And yes, uh, France uh, recycles, uh, so does uh, French. I believe the Russians and Japanese too as well. And India, the early five. Um, so other countries have figured it out, and certainly uh, they'll use that to their competitive advantage we go forward. Uh, you know, there, there are solutions to, uh, to spent nuclear fuel. Uh, the Chinese and the Russians are looking at, at uh, advanced reactors that can burn that fuel to a much greater extent to where they only have uh, the, the, the amount left over. It's very minimal compared to the starting amounts. Uh, and what's left over lasts three to four hundred years before it's down to, back down to natural background radiation. So there are solutions to spent nuclear fuel. Just back to economics real quick. Um, it costs more to reprocess spent fuel than to go through the once through cycle like we do here in the United States. Uh, conservative estimates put nuclear power in the once through cycle at 15 cents per kilowatt hour for a new build. Um, reprocessing increases that to 17, 18 cents per kilowatt hour. So it, it doesn't make economic sense really 